when I tell you that we should never allow Democrats in positions of power, they will always turn their power against the people. This is proof positive. This Democrat judge is suffering from Trump derangement syndrome. And I am going to prove to you, not only is he a complete liar, he doesn't care about the people he crushes all in the pursuit, like Wile E. Coyote, super genius to get the road runner. It's Wednesday, September 27th, 2023. I'm Stuart Allister. From the New York Times, judge rules Trump committed fraud, stripping, con uh, stripping control of key properties. A New York judge ruled on Tuesday that Donald J. Trump persistently committed fraud by inflating the value of his assets and stripped the former president of control over some of his signature New York properties. The surprising decision by Justice Arthur F. Engron is a major victory for Attorney General Letita James in her lawsuit against Mr. Trump, effectively deciding that no trial was needed to determine that he had fraudulently secured favorable terms on loans and insurance deals. Ms. James has argued that Mr. Trump inflated the value of his properties by as much as $2.2 billion and is seeking a penalty of about $250 million in a trial scheduled to, be, to begin as early as Monday. Justice Ingron wrote that the annual financial statements that Mr. Trump submitted to banks and insurance companies, quote, clearly contain fraudulent valuations that defendants used in business. Really? Really? So it, it, this is the, if this isn't the pot calling the kettle black, it's unbelievable. This judge is unhinged. He doesn't care about the law. He cares about getting the orange man, getting the road runner. He's insane. I, and I, I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to prove it to you. And he doesn't care about the law. And, and he what he wants is Latita James to finally crush the orange man. Ms. James, in a brief statement, said, quote, we look forward to presenting the rest of our case at trial. The lawyer for Mr. Trump, Christopher M. Keese, indicated that he would likely appeal the decision, which he called outrageous and completely disconnected from the facts and governing law. He said that the judge ignored an earlier appealing appeals court ruling and basic ba uh, ruling and basic legal accounting and business principles. We don't, we don't care about that. What? The judge, the, the prior judge's ruling that this is basic legal accounting and business practices. This is what they do. And everyone knows it. That doesn't matter. Mr. Trump, for his part, noted that Justice Ingron is a Democrat and called him deranged. He is deranged. While the trial will determine the size of the penalty, Justice Ingram's ruling granted one of the biggest punishments Ms. Jays sought, the cancellation of business certificates that allow some of Mr. Trump's New York properties to operate, a move that could, could have major repercussions for the Trump family business. That's all they're after. They're trying to crush Donald Trump in New York and anywhere else he is. They, they, they're, they're trying desperately to erase. Do, do you guys know that when New York was on the brink, it was Donald J. Trump that brought it back? 
the person that that the these lunatics indicted Rudy Giuliani do you know that he was the one who absolutely crushed the crime in New York they made New York viable again they they they, they brought tourism again these people don't care about that. They care about getting the orange man. The decision could determine his control over a flagship commercial property at 40 Wall Street in Lower Manhattan and a family estate in Westchester County. Mr. Trump might also lose control over his other New York properties, including Trump Tower in Midtown Manhattan and his golf club in Westchester. The order would not dissolve Mr. Trump's company itself, which is a collection of hundreds of entities, but the decision could nonetheless have a sweeping impact on the company's New York operations. If Justice Engron's decision is not reversed by an appeals court, look at this, it could shut down an entity that employs hundreds of people working for him in New York, effectively crushing the company. You see, they don't give a crap about you. This judge doesn't care about the people that they're gonna to toss out of work. They don't give a crap about you. They care about getting the orange man. Now, now take note from the New York Post, real estate insiders bewildered by judges $18 million valuation of Trump's Mar-a-Lago would list at 300 million. So, wow, how, how in the world did the judge come up with 18 million? Isn't that interesting? Here, take a look at this because I just brought some, some, some receipts for you. You see that? That's in Florida and it's worth, oh, about 18 million. This, however, is Mar Largo. That he says is worth 18 million. Did, 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 you, did you see the difference? That was 18 million. That is 18 million in Florida. That's Mar Largo. That's Mar-a-Largo. This is, look at that. It's a renovated Palm Beach house. See that house is sitting on the lake, on the lake, on the, on the water. I don't know if it's, a, if it's at the beach, but that is worth 18 million. Is the they don't care what, what they are doing is they are destroying all of our institutions so that no one has any confidence in our judiciary. Do you know what happens when normal people no longer consider judges to be fair and impartial? Even if, look, there, there have been times where uh, you know, judges and DAs were bought and paid for by mobsters, or but it wasn't widespread across the country. Right now, we have it widespread across the country where judges are only interested in getting the orange man and his emissaries, anyone connected to him. This is outrageous. 18 million. Mar-a-Lago, 18 million. Real estate insiders are looking at like 18 million. Are you kidding me? That's 300. That would be listed. That's what they said, listed at 300 million. It would likely go for way more than that. I think it was Eric Trump said, man, my dad's property is the most expensive property in the country. This deranged judge that doesn't care about justice values that, no, it's about 18 million, and that's it. He has enough money.
What happens when the people no longer have trust in our institution? You already see it happening with the FBI. You see it happening with the Food Administration. You see it with the Food and Drug Administration. You see it happening across the board at every avenue where corruption reigns supreme. Well, if people no longer trust the government, what happens to the people? What happens to the institutions or the rule of law? This is as bad as it gets. He should be disbarred. And I'm not, he, he, this judge should be drummed out of any judgeship. He should be disbarred and. I, 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 I tell you several times, you can't allow Democrats, particularly these, these partisans to get in positions of power. They will always, always use that power against the people. Just think about all the hundreds of people that would be kicked out of a job. They don't care. Democrats will always use, always use their power to ruin your life. That's it for now. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you're watching on Rumble, please click that follow button. And until the next time, God bless.